present the beach camber mini concept. The beach camber mini concept will be first shown to the public in Detroit. And today we like to explain a little bit what the small content is. It's the first mini which is longer than four meters. It's the first mini with four wheel drive system. It's a mini with four single individual seats. And the beach camber concept is based on the production car of the mini which we will be shown next year. So it's a fourth member of the mini family. The design language is based on the historical form of the mini. Authenticity is a very important word and landscaping. Mini is not about vascular positive forms, landscaping, nice detailing, proportion, short overhangs, big wheels, wheels on the corner. The interpretation of the land, which is a very important part of the mini face, and the mini face, of course, is a very important thing on the whole mini plan, is the interpretation of the circular headlamp transported to a new form in sort of functionality, crossover form language, and it will differentiate the crossover products from the core family which is produced in uh, Oxford. On this card, uh, we played the game of marathon, of, of triathlon, of uh, the Ironman uh, competition in uh, Hawaii, and of the historical mini mode form language. On the front, you see the classic mini mode slanted grill, cheap metal, body color, additional round headlamps. On the side, you see the three depression on the rocker panel, which also play the mini mode form language. Overhang, minimized, big wheels on the corner, stands on the wheels, a strong presence on the very vertical drill, but still resembling the typical example of mini as a combination of all products which mini can have place. On the side, we follow up with the A pillar into the so-called form diagonal. Mini is all about this functional diagonal which makes a very strong dynamic pressing the car forward. But also we use it to play the gap from the hood to the side panel. And it's actually camouflaged so you don't see it. And it's a resemblance on the welding joint of the classic mini which always had it. Here you can already see the four-door concept of the original car which will be shown next year. So door gaps on the front and on the rear. And we just took out the rear pillar and strengthened the whole car with the strengthening piece in order to get rigidity and also to fulfill the side impact regulation for the driver or driver's passenger compartment. On the pillar we played a very dynamic shape which means a floating line from the A pillar core uh, root to the D pillar. And in contrary to the normal mini form language where we do a horizontal black band in the class, we did a longitudinal one. Front class, frame, open roof, strengthening the structure, and opening the back. It was very important for us to show the maximum openness of a mini because mini mode was the open car per se, and this is why it still lives in the heart of people today. Mini is all about clever ideas, about functionality and about playfulness. In the future, when you purchase a Mini at the dealer, you will be getting hand over a Mini key box. So the key is nicely covered in the box. Additional to that, all our functional parts have a second function, and in the rail system, you can clip in all these rail features which covers uh, classes, box, key box, cup holders, armrests, etc. Et the functionality of the Mini goes ahead with a candy lever brake, which is also the, the cover of your wrist to operate the, the navigation system. In this concept car, we feature little uh, functional uh, instrumentation for uh, crossover functionality, uh, compass and inclination meter. We have the speakers in the air, in outer air vents. We have nicely decorated steering wheel 
and handlebars. It's all about functionality. The mini uh, beach cumber concept is around the four sports modes of the Ironman. It's swimming, cycling, uh, running and winning. So four disciplines which also bear mini. The whole car is designed from the color scheme about Hawaii. Ironman, Hawaii, the Falcon colors, the black soil of the, of the Falcons and the sand of the beaches and the blue of the sea. The sport is also resembled by a container on the back where we cover the helmet of the cyclist, the shoes of the runner, the swimsuit of the swimmer. As I explained from the outside, it's a complete open car, maximum open car, protected by the side protection uh, uh, function, functional uh, uh, rocker panel for the impact. On the other side, it's a normal mini. It's four functional seats, which means every seat is adjustable in length and inclination, can be individually adjusted. Four, four meters, four wheel drive, four family member of mini, and four seater. And we have the functional rail from the very first uh, part of the car, running through the whole car, where in every part of the car you can put this functional Lego type uh, 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 containers or features. The big beach camper concept is like the Moke complete open car, but in case of rain or bad weather, we have a set of uh, fabrics, a set of uh, materials where we can close the side with two doors and a canvas roof. So this is covered in the back of the car, it's always busy. So it's a, it's a car where you are covered with sunshine and also window. On the rear we have a container which can cover all sorts of things. In this case, as the concept car we show in Detroit, it's all about uh, Iron Man. We have the helmet for the cyclist, we have the running shoes and we have the swimsuits. They are carried outside the car in order to keep it dry and keep the wet out of the car. On the rear, Surfboard. Additional to that rear door functionality, we have a rail system from the very beginning to the end to the belt line where we can clip in standard roof rail systems on every position of the car and we can load a bike or surfboard or skis on the roof but also in a directional way like on historical sport cars.